Okay, so this is John Feldman. He is the patriarch of this Decades Challenge legacy. And for his name, I basically looked up a last name that means farmer, German last name for farmer. And then John, I just typed in popular names in the 1890s, and that's where I got John. I also got the name Mary for his lovely new bride, Mary Feldman. Now, I do have some CC that I'm going to link you to, mostly from Patreon, because I wanted to... I didn't do too much CC for objects except for finding a typewriter um, so they could use the computer, but it doesn't look like they're using the computer. And then um, the CC is mostly for clothing. So I just went through, got a whole bunch of stuff from 1890s. Um, this is a more, you know, they're not upper class, obviously. So she's kind of mid middle range. They inherited this farm. That's their backstory from John's uncle who had no family, no heirs. He died. They are newlyweds. He left it to them in his will. So they have this rundown farm, as you can see in the back. Um, but anyway, they're newlyweds, like I said. I have some clothing for children and toddlers, but I think when we get to... I, I couldn't find anything for teenagers. I'm gonna have to look again. So before the kids become teenagers, I'm gonna look. But then when we get to the new decade with the new era, I'm gonna go through and download Edwardian clothing. So I don't get too overwhelmed with the clothing CC. So this is Mary. I love this blue dress for her. And her hair is up like a good married woman. Um, I feel like he might be too fancy in this outfit. So I might find him something that's not like this jacket. Because you can't really farm in this jacket. So I'm going to have to go look for some more clothes for him. Um, but anyway, here's a tour. This is the farm plot, you know... His uncle just lived here. He didn't really do much farming anymore, so it's just it's ready to go. So their lot is off the grid in good soil. And the third trait is homey. So, um, oh, let's go into this. I wanted to give him successful lineage because that's basically what this challenge is. So they're both young adults. I don't know why he's so far forward. I haven't even played them yet. Um, but anyway, loves the outdoors because he's a farmer. He's a perfectionist, family-oriented, domestic. So um, he's not going to have a job. He's just going to be a farmer. They're going to live off of everything. And I have the little knitting chair. I just got the nifty knitting, so I'm excited to use this. This is for Mary. She's going to be um, knitting things, and she's either going to knit stuff for her children to wear, and then maybe when she gets really good at it, she'll sell things to, like, you know, we'll just say she's selling them to the neighboring families. This is the chess table for their fun meter. Um, this is going to be the flower garden. So even though they're both farmers, I kind of just wanted Mary to have her own garden because the lady of the house would have her own garden. Um, it's just, I think I'll just make, you know, it'll just be flowers. She'll just have a flower garden. So she can still sell the flowers and everything, but she's not going to do the farming farming, like plowing fields and planting, because that's what John's job is going to be. So I have a little bit of decor here. I thought it was cute. They have 344 simoleons right now. Because um, when I moved them into this lot, they had 19,000. So I kind of went a little crazy. I mean, it does look a little run down. It's off the grid. Everything is a lantern or a candle. They have a fireplace. All the, um, see the toilets off the grid. Everything that has water you see on here, I got all the off the grid appliances. So... Um, I wanted them to have a door with like the cutout, but I, they don't have that. So I just put this in the back because you, you don't want air to get trapped in that outhouse. Um, this is their trash can. That worked out pretty well. Um, and this is the kitchen, you know, some little kitcheny things. I was trying to fit more things on these shelves, but there weren't a lot of things. Like I wanted these on the shelves. The ice box for them is pretty high tech. So it's pretty lucky. I've added some, you know, damage to the walls to make it look a little run down. Just, a, you know, some fabric draped over the windows. This is the wooden bathtub because they're only supposed to have wooden furniture. It's the Sulani wooden bathtub. That's all I had. And it, you know, it was either that or a shower and they couldn't have the shower. So um, decor. This is their bookshelf. I had a bookcase in here for them, but it took up a lot of space. This, which I thought was cool. 
I didn't realize this existed. Uh, but I figured they would have this for, you know, a, a linen chest for her. Okay, so this is going to be his uncle, uh, John's uncle and aunt, when they were younger, newly married. Yeah, you know, that does kind of make sense from her outfit, you know, era-wise. And so they just have a one-room cabin right now, and when they get more money, they can just slowly expand because they're going to need to because, you know what? Tonight is their wedding night, and it's always going to be try for baby. So... We'll see what happens. I mean, it, it'll probably be fine for now with just a little baby and a toddler, but I, their space is tight, so I might have to add a little lean-to onto the side, which I feel would be accurate instead of just expanding the room, which might, you know, realistically complicated. Adding a lean-to shed in the back attached with the door seems more accurate, and then I can either make that... Well, I think I'll just make that their room and the kids can sleep out here because they'd want their own room after that point. But anyway, I'm actually pretty proud. I don't do a lot of builds, and I really like how this turned out. So, it's on the gallery, Feldman Family Farmhouse, if you're looking for it. And then I will put a link to my profile. Um, but yeah, everything is, you know, wooden in here. Um, you know, it's looking good pretty proud of it. So I think what we're going to have to do, we still have to get a cow plant. So I might have him go to Ho Oasis Springs. So they don't have anything planted here yet, but what I did is I had him, well I bought these in buy mode because I don't think the plants have really spawned yet around here. Um, so I'm just going to say he's he ordered these through Sears catalog, um, you know, just to get them going. They're now down to 169. So they're definitely going to need <laughs> to start raking in the money pretty soon. So I'll just have him open all these. I have the magic plants. We'll see what they are first. I might get rid of them if it seems like it's too weird for them to have them. Um, but we'll see. And I know it's 8 a.m. on Sunday. So I think what I'll have her do, this object, Sims inventory. Oh, I did not know that because I just got this. Perfect. Okay. So I think I will have her make some little knit caps. Oh, these are modern though. Okay, maybe I'll just stick to the animals. I don't know. I'm a little concerned now. Um, I think color-wise, white tiger. Okay, I really... It seems a bit odd. Maybe that's fine. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Okay, so let's get things planted. Pot oh, tarot root. Okay. I wonder if this is maybe... Yeah, okay. You know what? It'll work. We'll do it. Let's see. I don't want these to be too close because I feel like they would... They should be far apart. Just gonna have him plant all of these because they're gonna need some money real quick. Mandrake. Okay, it's probably a good thing there's only one. Because I feel like maybe he like randomly ended up with that somehow. <laughs> okay. Um Valerian. You know, maybe she should plant these. Because she would have been in charge of making home remedies, and these sound like home remedy sort of situation. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll have her plant the weird ones and the flowers. Basil? I feel like these would all be in Mary's herb garden, but I'm just gonna have him grow them. I'm really excited about this challenge. I love I love the history. He's already at gardening level two. This is working out great. Okay. So I think I'll just have Oh, did she just finish knitting? Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So now I'll have her do this. And then we'll have her grow chrysanthemums from now, because that's all I have. But then when I get some new flowers, we'll switch some of these out. Because I want to make it decorative and look really pretty. Okay, so I moved a few things around a little bit, so this should hopefully work out better. There wasn't enough space. Okay, yeah, I did plant those two close then. Okay, so I think they're supposed to be this far apart now. So then I will just sell these to get a little bit of the money back. Oh, has that already sprouted? 
Wow, that was quick. Must be the good soil. Okay, now we've got some apple trees. Um, I feel like their orchard might be further out this way. Okay, so I can't go too far out this way because that's their lot. Um, but I think I will start the orchard over here. Oh, what is this? What wild rose bush, but it's not ready yet. They'll have a nice apple orchard. That'll be fun. You know, they've already got a pretty good start on this farm. Oh, she's helping to water. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, so I just moved a couple things over. They have this really cute elm tree that I like back here. So they can sit outside under the shade. I'm oh, wait. Hold on. Maybe she should go make friend. But there is a child, so that might be useful later. Just to have her say hi. I feel like she would do that. And then he can finish watering. Oh, well, the kid is still here. Okay. I don't know if she actually did meet them or not. My snapdragon. Okay, there is more stuff. I think I'll have actually I'll have her do that. And then wait, where are you going, dude? To wash your hands. Well, at least he's clean. But he does need to finish planting this orchard if it's going to be ready. That's new. That must be from the off the grid thing. Energized? Cleaning while off the grid the old-fashioned way. Oh, perfect lot traits, if I do say so myself. Okay. Nice. Um, let's see. They're not really hungry yet, so I think what I'm going to do is have... Gather water? Oh, that's so perfect! That is exactly something she would be doing. Okay, I'll have him say hello because this might be a future friend but I feel like they you know the kids might play generating water surplus object that use water will now fully work as long as more water is generated than being used okay I wonder if there's a way to like check that out somewhere I'm new to this off the grid thing hmm okay I guess I'll find out but I'll have him water that stuff she's uncomfortable what did she do Probably because she had to go gather water. <laughs> Turn off utility usage. Okay, I feel like... No. Okay, I think it does need to be on. Okay, this is more realistic because they would definitely need to gather water. And she would need to cook off... Herbal remedy! Oh, cool! Okay, that's good. That seems accurate. And then there's add ice, current ice levels. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this off the grid thing. I had no idea. Okay. I have to turn off the utility stuff. If that makes sense. Okay, can he enthuse about outdoors to her yet? There he is. Okay, so I think they got a pretty good start. I think I might have her gather more water just to be safe. And then I will have him fish so they can have some food. Gathering water makes her uncomfortable, unfortunately, but it, that does make sense. She's gathered as much water as she can. Flowers there aren't ready. Oh good, she'll get her fun back up. And he's got the fishing skill. Perfect, woohoo with Mary, cause that's gonna happen tonight. Okay. But right now he's going to be catching some fish for them. They live in kind of like an upscale area, I realized, but I mean their house is eventually gonna be upscale. But th this is the kind of property, like, if they didn't take it, it was going to be bulldozed and some developer was going to come in. Okay, that sort of situation. I should probably have these on auto lights, I just realized. They would not have the candles lit during the day. So, auto lights. All oh, candles. Okay, that's coming from the window. I like being able to play on high graphics on this computer because this 
light through the window would not have shown up on my old computer. So old computer she up to making friend friends with children. It seems appropriate. Now at some point when they have money, you know, for the for the girls to get a piano. I feel like that would be accurate. So she is going to cook off the grid. I think. Garden salad is off the grid. I might have to turn it on to get the birthday cakes. Okay, she can make these things. All right. I'll have her make eggs and toast. What was that just, that was just for her. No, she's gonna make tomato soup because that's for everyone. Yes, I forgot about her. She's gonna do the big happy family because she's probably going to end up with a ton of children. I don't know how many yet, but we have to prepare for the war. So she's gonna need some sons. She's gonna need at least one, but I wanna do like an heir and a spare, maybe more. Matriarch reward trait, that's pretty cool. What does he have? Vicarious. Sweet, oh, that's awesome. Okay. And she is family oriented, loves the outdoors also, domestic. And she's creative, which is the knitting thing. And I think they're all supposed, to, all the women are supposed to be creative in the family anyway. Oh, what's over here? I'll have him do that. This is a lot of food. Why are these townies cooking so much food? Oh my goodness. All right, Mary, time to make tomato soup for lunch. I do like you can add ice, that's really cool. Cooking skills, all right. What can he sell? Okay, this is a good start. Wait, where is she going? Come back. No, you're not knitting. Oh my gosh. I hope that is not gonna be super distracting. Oh look, and ugh, the curtains were moving. Oh, that's so awesome. I love high graphics. Oh, she is not very good at cooking, is she? Well, she'll get better. Let's see what's in this fossil. What's a what's it? He doesn't even... That makes sense. He doesn't know what it is. Okay, time for the off-the-grid toilet. And then lunch. Okay, go sit down and have lunch together. Thank you. Just pop that in the fridge because there's no wasting food in this household. <laughs> well, Daisy. Oh, they well, seem happy. Let's see. Uh, Express uh, fondness. That seems nice and restrained for the 1890s. I feel like she wouldn't do too much flirting. Oh, good friends. Yeah, that's great. They must not have known each other very well before they got married then. But they are soulmates, which is sweet. I guess that was technically dinner. Even though she made it for lunch. <laughs> okay, you know what? Waited long enough. Wait, no, I should have her do those herself. I feel like if we're going for accuracy here. Oh, look at her puffy sleeves. Uh, her nightgown is so extra. It might be a little too much, actually. Maybe I should find her one that's more restrained. More open to flirt now. Oh no, she's got to pee. Okay. Okay. Flirt really quick and then use the bathroom. Use the bathroom. It's too bad, uh, I wonder if I could find like a CC chamber pot. I know for like the toddlers, it's technically a chamber pot. Maybe you can find one that looks like one for them to use as toddlers. Wait, did she already do the dishes? Who did the dishes? We're not doing university at all this game because it takes forever and I don't know how I'm going to handle that if someone goes to university. 
I mean, it, it would be realistic later on, on in later decades, but it's too much of a hassle in this game, I think. Well, they can't go on vacation, so I'm going to put that off for now, because they could go camping, but I feel like they wouldn't right now. <laughs> good woohoo. Well, that's good. I'm glad they're happy. So he said embrace. Oh, they're so sweet. Ask about day. Oh, she's so happy. Oh. Become best friends. Yes, they're gonna be best friends. Okay, and then ask about day. There it is. Oh. Okay, it's pretty late, so I feel like, I mean, they're not really tired. So I'm gonna have them fish for a little bit. Let's have them fish together. Okay, we'll just have them fish together real quick. I feel like they technically would be asleep by now, or be getting ready for bed. Okay. And I think tomorrow I will send him to Oasis Springs to find a cow plant. Okay, now it's getting late. I think I'll have him go to bed. Okay. Well, that was a very successful first day. I am very pleased with how it's gone with this whole off the grid thing so far. So uh, I think I'll end it there for day one and see you for day two next time. Bye.